Jack and his wife Lisa went to the beach for a vacation. They stayed in a house by the sea. During the day, they enjoyed playing in the water and had a great time. However, at night, the sky was filled with lightning and thunder. The hotel staff informed them about an incoming storm and suggested they move to a hotel on land. But Jack and Lisa refused the advice. Suddenly, a massive tsunami hit, shattering the glass and flooding the house. They were about to escape when the tsunami washed away the house, causing them to fall to the ground. Lisa quickly grabbed the phone to call for help, but the phone line was already severed. She raised her hands, seeking help from people on the shore, but the house was swept far away. The cries for help were drowned out by the enormous waves. Suddenly, the house collided with a large rock, and Lisa accidentally fell out. Fortunately, Jack caught her just in time. But when he looked up, he was petrified to see a huge rock in front of them. In that critical moment, Jack threw Lisa into the sea without hesitation. By the time Lisa resurfaced, the house had already crashed into the rock. When she returned to the house to check, luckily Jack was unharmed, just a sprained foot. Lisa suggested they move to the rock and wait for rescue, but Jack refused. The waves were too strong, and staying outside meant being washed away at any moment. Moreover, his injured foot made it more prudent to stay in the house. Lisa reluctantly agreed. But the next morning, they woke up to find that the house had drifted deep into the sea. Jack and Lisa came to the seaside for a vacation. When they woke up, they found that the house they were living in had drifted deep into the sea. Lisa blamed Jack for not listening to her advice and staying on the rock. Otherwise, they would have been rescued by now. Jack kept comforting Lisa and said their priority should be to gather useful supplies. Then Lisa put on some glasses and dived into the water. She found a few bottles of mineral water at the bottom of the house. Just as she was about to retrieve her backpack, a group of piranhas suddenly appeared. Startled, she hurriedly climbed back to the bed. The phone was also soaked in seawater and couldn't be turned on. At present, the only hope for survival was to conserve energy and save water. They lay there for who knows how long. Lisa noticed a helicopter in the sky and happily waved and shouted. But Jack told her that the helicopter couldn't see them from that height. In the afternoon, Lisa was awakened by rainwater. She quickly opened her mouth and drank a few sips. Then she filled a bottle with water and fed Jack a little. Just then, she saw a fishing boat passing by in the distance. Despite not having drunk water for a long time, she couldn't make any sound. Using her wits, she decided to light a fire using the firewood and attract the attention of the fishing boat with thick smoke. First, she filled the bottle with seawater and used the sun's UV rays to irradiate the bottle. By utilizing the principle of a magnifying glass, she successfully ignited the newspaper. But this operation took a lot of time. By the time the fishing boat noticed, it had already gone further. To increase the density of the smoke, they threw everything that could burn into the fire. Suddenly, the cotton instantly ignited into a fierce fire. As the flames were about to spread to the house, they desperately tried to extinguish the source of the fire. But the fire quickly got out of control. They had no choice but to jump into the sea. Now even the houses were gone. The two of them could only rely on a piece of wood floating on the sea. Jack's blood kept flowing into the ocean. Suddenly, the wood was struck by a shark and shattered. Jack's blood attracted the sharks. Jack was flipped over by a shark and fell into the water. Lisa jumped in with a wooden stick. She desperately struck the shark. Blood continued to gush out into the sea. Lisa had to climb back onto the wood. She tried to pull Jack up, but the shark continued to bite him in the water. Lisa fiercely stabbed the shark with the wooden stick. Fortunately, she successfully drove the shark away. Just as she was about to pull Jack up, he said his foot was no longer movable. Lisa had no choice but to drag Jack away from the shark-infested area. They slid from day to night. Finally, they slid onto a small island. Lisa tried to wake up the unconscious Jack, but he didn't respond no matter how she caught him. She picked up Jack and looked at him. Only then did she realize that his feet had been eaten by the sharks. Lisa also collapsed on the ground. The next day, the seawater washed her awake. Lisa turned her head and saw two sharks devouring Jack's body. Seeing the sharks coming towards her, she quickly ran towards the island. Unfortunately, she stepped on a stone and it pierced through her soul. She fell to the ground. Before she could react, the shark bit her thigh. In a critical moment, she grabbed a stone from the ground and smashed the shark's head. She successfully drove the shark away. Lisa managed to save one leg. At this moment, she noticed a fisherman nearby fishing. She hurriedly swam over. Little did she know, the danger had just begun. The fisherman used his bare hands to pinch her torn wound and pierced it with a fishing hook. Without anesthesia, Lisa could only scream in agony. The fishing hook slowly entered her body, stitching the wound. Then he bit off the excess fishing line. Lisa endured the pain and sutured the wound herself. 
She wrapped the wound with a piece of cloth. A simple surgery was completed. Afterwards, the fisherman jumped into the sea to check his catch. Unbeknownst to him, a shark appeared behind him. The next moment, a severed hand emerged from the water. Lisa quickly pulled the rope to prepare to leave. Suddenly, the fisherman resurfaced. Lisa reached out to pull him up. But unexpectedly, Lisa lost her balance and was pulled into the water as well. The two struggled in the water. Luckily, Lisa held on to the rope and climbed back up. Just as she was about to pull the fisherman up, he had already disappeared into the water. Lisa quickly pulled up the anchor and was about to leave. But she saw a shark coming towards her. She quickly took out the propeller and aimed it at the shark. The injured shark could only hastily flee. Just when Lisa thought she was safe, suddenly... The shark ran into her small boat. Lisa was overturned in the boat. The shark swiftly approached her. Lisa quickly pulled the rope and wrapped it around her legs. As the shark was about to reach her, Lisa increased her speed of wrapping. The next moment, the anchor pierced through the shark. Lisa used all her strength to climb back into the boat. Finally, she saw the land. The fisherman on the shore also noticed her. Lisa was finally rescued. 